Hi friends, welcome back to another lesson where we discuss the parts of and types of flowers. The first thing we'll be discussing are the parts of a flower. The flower is the part of a flowering plant that contains the seeds. For centuries, flowers have been loved for their beautiful shapes and colors. The corolla consists of the petals of the flower. They are usually brightly colored as the function of the corolla is to attract insects that will transfer the pollen necessary for the formation of seeds. The pistil is the female part of the flower. The pistil produces the ovules which grow into seeds. All of the pistils together are called the genesium. The pistil is the white part of the plant in this picture. The stamen forms the male part of the flower. The stamen produces the pollen. The stamens together are called endritium. The stamen of this flower are yellow. The calyx is the outer covering of the flower. The calyx is usually green. The separate divisions of the calyx are called sepals. Finally, the pedicel is a slender stalk that supports a single flower. The pedicel attaches the flower to the stem and leaves. In the Easter cactus, the pedicel looks a little bit different than normal. Now we'll be discussing types of flowers. Carnations are available year round as cut flowers in a wide variety of colors. They are often worn for special occasions or given as a gift and can last a long time once they are cut. Cherry blossoms are also known by their Japanese name, Sakura. They have tiny pink and white blooms which cover a tree with cascading branches. They are important to Japanese culture. Daffodils are small, often white flowers with six tiny petals. This one is yellow. They bloom from November through April. The name daisy is from the phrase day's eye because they close at night and open in the morning. Daisy flowers have white petals which surround a bright yellow center. Gerbera daisies are long and disc shaped flowers with many petals and a large center. They come in many colors and are available year round. They are popular in flower arrangements. Hyacinths come in many colors but all have a similar flower shape to the lily. They are associated with rebirth and are used to celebrate the Persian New Year during the spring equinox. Here is an example of two different types of hyacinth. Lilies grow in Asia, North America, and Europe and have three long petals with three outside petals that alternate. They symbolize life and they are popular in spring, specifically at Easter. Marigolds are known for their characteristic golden, orange, and red petals, densely arranged in a thick circle. They are used for Day of the Dead celebrations on October 31st in Mexico. Pansies look similar to violets, but with seven petals. They come in many colors. Pansy comes from the French for thought because of the resemblance to the human face. The petunia is a trumpet-shaped flower from Argentina. Petunias are popular for garden beds and can be found in many colors, petal shapes, and sizes. Poinsettias, native to Mexico, are easily recognized for their long pointed petals of red and white. They are the most popular Christmas plant. They are sensitive to cold and are harmful if eaten. There are more than 20,000 types of roses, which have existed for 4,000 years. They come in many different varieties, the most popular being sweetheart roses. Rose petals overlap in a spiral. Sunflowers have pointed yellow petals around a large center. Their stems can grow to 10 feet high, the flowers to 11 inches across. Sunflower oil and seeds are used in cooking. The tulip originated in Turkey and its name comes from the Turkish word for turban, which was used to describe its cup-like shape. Each petal is intertwined with the others. And lastly, water lilies grow in freshwater tropical regions and are known for their lovely colors floating on the water surface. They have broad leaves and many pointed petals with a yellow center. All right, friends, and that is it. So now it's time to go and record your work. I will ask you to go to the botany folder and look for the botany checklist um, for individual requirements for each level. When you go to the checklist, you'll see that there are different types of work for each level. Please feel free to put it in the proud work moments folder that is also in the Google Drive. I'm excited to see what you make. Bye.